Hi, welcome to Astro Journey UK. In today's video, I'm going to be visiting the Practical Astronomy Show 2023 in Kettering in the UK. So uh, if you want to see what they've got uh, on offer today and things going on, uh, then keep watching. So it's been a year since uh, I've been to the Practical Astronomy Show. Uh, it's at the same location again this year, so at, uh, at Kettering. Uh, the entry is absolutely free. Uh, there are several talks. I think there's probably about six or so talks. Uh, those are also all free as well, which is fantastic. It's just you can't beat it for value for money. Um, and there's lots of uh, lots of stalls and things to look at. So I thought it would be nice to uh, just have a little bit of a, a walk around the uh, venue, so you can see what it would be like if you were actually here. Um, lots of different uh, stalls and things uh, where you can buy new kit, talk to the, um, the, the, the the vendors and the sellers of this kit if you've got any questions. Um, it's fantastic from that perspective to be able to uh, get their advice in terms of what you're trying to do and how things get to get work together with each other. Um, so that, that was really, really good. Uh, lots of different um, pieces of kit on offer as well. Many different sort of telescope makes, uh, camera makes, um, yeah, just literally so much stuff here, which is really, really good. Um, this particular rig that you can see on the left-hand side kind of caught my eye in terms of uh, a 400 centimeter mirror uh, telescope, a Newtonian telescope. Um, it would be really, really good to uh, see what that looks like um, in a dark sky location. Uh, there are also um, yeah, various different astronomy uh, societies there as well. Um, sharing their clubs but then um, also there's a book stall I thought it was quite interesting with some of the books that were actually uh, for sale there's there was one book from the 1800s uh, talking about sort of uh, discoveries at the time and eclipse events and things like that um, just fascinating to sort of see such a an old publication just sort of uh, there for somebody to buy for a pound or something One great thing uh, this year was uh, again getting to uh, speak to other fellow astrophotographers and YouTubers and uh, alike. Um, it was really good to have some fantastic conversations with people, um, understanding the kit they're using, how they're using it, um, just having a really, really good time. That was definitely the highlight of today, I'd say. So the first thing that uh, you come across when you come into the uh, show is the Altair Astro stand. Um, lots of beautiful uh, purple cameras with eye-watering prices um, which is always really <laughs> nice to see uh, and then I came across this uh, Red Cat setup on an AM5 mount um, just found it interesting because it's pretty much the same setup as mine um, but what I was just interested in looking at is uh, just the configuration of it so you've got the EAF um, mounted on the plate as well as the um, ASI air device at the front um, just giving me some ideas in terms of configurations and here's the new William Optics telescope with the sort of central internal focuser uh, designed to sort of handle um, heavy payloads at the back of the uh, scope to avoid sort of the, the focusing mechanism um, being tilted from the weight. And you've got this as a demonstration in terms of how capable that telescope would be. So I think it'd be interesting to uh, see that in action at some point as well. So here we have some more mounts, the Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI, so it's a go-to mount, a bit like the Star Adventurer. And uh, my favourite mount at the moment, the ZWO AM5 harmonic drive mount. Um, absolutely love this mount, but actually it was also interesting to see uh, Pegasus Astro um, harmonic drive mount as well. Um, and that's one thing I've noticed from this particular show is uh, there's actually more harmonic drive mounts um, available now. Uh, which is always good to see. Uh, a very old technology but um, finally becoming available. And here we have the uh, Ioptron hybrid strain wave mount. Interestingly these work in, well they're hybrids so therefore they've got the strain wave for the right ascension and then they've got uh, sort of backlash free belt driven worm drives um, for the declination. All of that said though the, uh, the prices of these don't actually seem to be much cheaper if at all cheaper than the the pure sort of harmonic drive strain wave type mount so i'm not quite sure why they've gone for a hybrid approach given that it doesn't particularly reduce the cost or the size or the weight so it'd be good to uh, try and test one of these and see how they perform and everything but uh, yeah again interesting to see
this little red device was interesting. Uh, it's an alternative to harmonic drive mounts, um, an Avalon Evo Zero HQ mount. Uh, essentially it works by uh, using tone belt belts and uh, polymer fiberglass pulleys um, which results in no backlash and uh, sudden spikes and things including also having a, a fairly low weight at about 4.6 kilos. There's also this uh, unusual looking blue mount, the uh, Avalon M0 HQ Fast Reverse. Um, and all I can kind of understand from this and the uh, sheet is um, another lightweight mount, uh, 7.5 kilos, but um, it says it's got the capability of if you've got a, um, some small optics on it, you don't actually need to do a meridian flip, it will just keep rotating. Um, and it doesn't actually sort of um, snag on the mount or hit the mount or anything, so interesting. Um, I guess it's always good to see different ways of doing the same thing. So here we've got a Solar Quest automatic solar go-to tracking mount, uh, which was interesting. Uh, just my challenges of trying to do solar photography um, and actually pointing it to the sun. Uh, this mount does everything for you. Uh, so it's got the ability using uh, GPS and um, various other bits of information to know exactly where the sun is and to be able to slew your telescope straight to the sun so you can start imaging. Uh, there's also uh, some auto drift correction through feedback of a solar sensor, so a really um, nice little bit of kit, um, which doesn't actually cost that much, it's about £270, um, so yeah, good if you're uh, doing a lot of solar photography. So uh, I've just come out of the show, uh, it's been an absolutely fantastic show, uh, there's been a lot to see, a lot to do, um, and yeah, really, really good. Uh, one little extra this year is uh, they've got t-shirts, so uh, I've got one of those there now, look. Look at that nice souvenir. But yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Um, fantastic show, if you're ever in the area, then it's uh, definitely well worth a visit. So uh, take care everybody, and clear skies.